Uh, just very quickly, because of the challenges in Hawaii and uncertainty with court cases uh, some years ago, we didn't know how they were going to turn out. We pursued an alternative site for, for the TMT, which is in the Canary Islands, probably the second best site in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, it's not quite at the standard of Mauna Kea, but as you heard in public comments, it, certainly much of the TMT science would be enabled there. In order to change sites, unanimous agreement, amongst the partners is required. This is not a choice you see could make unilaterally. We're a voice on the board. And the alternative site uh, that was uh, cited is in Spain on Canary Islands. Uh, and do we have any indication that uh, that alternative site uh, has any oppositions? Dr. Bolte? Yeah, um, there is, in fact, uh, as we went through the permitting process, we had two suits related to uh, the environment. There's a group there called Ben Magique who questions everything that happens in the Canary Islands. And those suits have been dismissed. They went through the court system and were ruled in the favor of TMT. So of that $100 million that's been spent, uh, uh, that part of us is uh, production of parts of the telescope. Mm -hmm. Is that all uh, usable or what portion of that uh, uh, will, uh, will be wasted? Uh, you know, I might, if I may, Chair Perez, uh, uh, I would turn back to Professor Bolte on the usability. You know, obviously, a significant investment has been made in the permitting process. Uh, the, the critical investments we've made, um, as Professor Bolte made in his uh, re um, you know, remarks in terms of investments in the local community and so forth, that is certainly not wasteful money. Uh, and just the project management structure. So, uh, I think that if, if, if there was a pause, some of the science that it had been invested in uh, could be reused, uh, but I think in large part, most of the money would be considered a sunk cost. Uh, Professor Bolte, Mike? Yeah, uh, under what circumstances were you referring to would the uh, investment be lost? If we were uh, to a different alternative. Uh, yeah. Move, so, move into Spain. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if we change sites, there's a large amount of design an actual fabrication prototype and things that transfers over 100%. Uh, as Paul mentioned, there have been uh, costs in Hawaii, legal costs, uh, costs that, as he said, I'm, I'm delighted about. In the local programs, those do not transfer. It's wonderful that India and China are involved in this great uh, forward-looking idea for world peace. I wondered in terms of the alternative site, uh, where the discussions are around unanimous agreement for the alternative site. Dr. Bolte, am I correct in characterizing it that there's not been any indication of unanimous agreement for the alternative site? That's correct. I have one more question. Is there unanimous agreement to not build on Manukea? Uh, no, some, some of the partners remain hopeful that there is some balance that could be struck there that would allow the telescope to go forward. Specifically, what do we lose moving to La Palma from Mauna Kea? Is there anything meaningful, discrete, and specific that is lost by transitioning from Mauna Kea to La Palma? Professor Gez, I see you uh, nodding. Would you care to respond to this? <laughs> well, um, there are science cases that from a science point of view, there are science cases that can't simply can't be done. It's not that there aren't, there isn't a tremendous amount of science that you can't achieve on La Palma, but there are some specifics. I just happen to be an example with my program of one that will suffer. So that's why I, I say this with um, some attention that this is a one, only one example. It is also true that um, Mauna Kea, um, is, is the best site in the world. There's no getting away from, um, from that. Um, so if, if one can achieve a reasonable solution, and, and I guess maybe coming back to your earlier point, um, as a scientist, one of the things that I see in terms of the benefit of astronomy is as a field, we're really Professor committed. Gass, to Professor Gass, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just ask, the question is about the differential Yes. I, 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 I will tell you that I am frustrated that we conflate TMT in general with TMT in its application on Mauna Kea. 
And so the question was, what we lose if we go to La Palma? And I would assume that there may also be certain scientific endeavors that are possible at La Palma that are not possible at Mauna Kea, but I may be wrong on that. So if you'd, if you'd please respond to the question about what we lose with site selection, not whether or not, whether or not we have a 30 meter telescope. Yes, so it's it has to do with the um, your latitude. Um, so um, you're higher north. It turns out that the higher north, you don't lose it on Mauna Kea. You get all the way up to the top, all the way all the way north, and further south. When you go further to La Palma, you lose some of the south. So in other words, you have a sh um, a shrinking view of the sky for going north. This is why most telescopes are built sort of either plus or minus a little bit from the equator in order to um, get your expanse. So that's the, that's the science case is that you lose some, some portion of the sky. The other piece is um, just this, the site itself is, is simply not as good. And that will hinder some cases from going forward. Thank you. Um, since we're part of a consortium, if we drop out, um, they can still proceed. Is that correct? So I'm going to oh, answer that. Uh, yes, that, that is uh, technically true. But I think at this stage, any any member um, removing themselves from the organization would create uh, the likelihood of the organization not continuing going forward. Just, All right. just in, and certainly with the University of California is one of the lead United States based partners. And then finally, I, I got clarity that the alternate site was good, but this is the best site in the world. Uh, is that correct? Yes, I would I defer to Professor Volte, but uh, my understanding is when you look at the totality of the science that can be performed on Mauna Kea, uh, La Palma can achieve 90% of that science. All right, those are my questions. Thank you so much for the presentation. So not doing TMT would be crushing to the University of California astronomy. As I think um, Paul Jennings already, uh, Jenny's already said, um, in terms of La Palma to Mauna Kea, there's some loss, but it wouldn't be devastating. Thank you. Regent Settle? Yes, and with our, we have made an agreement with various parties, various countries. Uh, if we walk away from this agreement, Will that undermine our future agreements with people, uh, with international partners? Will we be not a trusted partner anymore because we change our mind? Maybe I can call on the general counsel, uh, Charlie. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I, I don't know that that's necessarily a legal question. It's a, a question about uh, the university's relationship and its reputation and the impact that not following through would have on reputation and uh, and, and relationships. So, uh, you know, my I think my answer would be probably uh, as good as any uh, answer that you, Chair Perez, or others could could uh, provide. Thank you. Regent Estolano, are you chiming in on this question or do you have a separate question? Separate question, very brief. Very good. But Regent Zettel, I guess that's the, we don't know answer. I thought I saw a hand go up from um, Professor Getz. What, if it's okay, may I? Go ahead. Um, I think maybe one way to look at this is that because of our um, hundred year history of being at the forefront, 25% of the, the research community in the US is in the University of California. So whatever happens in the University of California had just reverberates across the US and internationally. Dr. Bolte, do you think in scientific inquiry when we have new facts, we ought to take them into consideration? <laughs> That's a leading question, yes. <laughs> I think we have some new facts here today. Um, and I think it's really interesting how we try to weigh them. Um, and I've not been shy about stating my view of this, uh, but I got to ask you, when you let us off today, you had a long presentation, I think it was about 15, 16 minutes. Most of it was on TMT, 
and not at the issue before us, which is whether TMT should be pursued on Mauna Kea or whether we should consider alternative sites. And I just want to ask how I should weigh the totality of the presentation when most of it was focused on something that has nothing to do with the underlying question of location. Mr. Chair, if I might. I was uh, asking Dr. Bolte if I, and then I'll recognize you, Madam President. Okay. Too bad I was off the hook there for a second. So, so uh, my, my goal here was to bring the board up to date on the project, what it means, why we're involved. And I thought the uh, discussion about Mauna Kea was to be left to the native Hawaiian points of view, which were presented is why I did it that way. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, yes, just to uh, uh, back up uh, Michael, um, uh, uh, I think we felt it important to explain the project, why we're uh, why we got in it in the first place, what the options currently are, what the um, and uh, uh, what uh, uh, the status of the the project is, uh, primarily because there are a number of members of the board who are unfamiliar with the project, um, and then to hear from uh, the various Native Hawaiian points of view on it, and I think that was accomplished today. I appreciate that, Madam President. I think different people view it differently. I was concerned that the conflation uh, took us out of a position of neutrality, as had previously been suggested, uh, to advocacy, and the conflation of the science with the location. Because, uh, as has been expressed by Dr. Bolton previously, by Dr. Getz now, there is a scientific difference based on the value of what is achievable at different locations. And I respect that. But for us to be able to look at what that differential difference is and weigh it with all the other considerations uh, is helpful. And I'm glad we were able to, to, to get some understanding of that. 